Hey everyone, MJob here with the big highlights from February for the G2 Army. Let's jump right in. Our League of Legends team continues their dominant streak, holding first place in the LEC with a record of 11 wins and only one loss. Every week you can catch content of our League team, including our stacked series, LEC moments, and voice comms on the G2 Esports YouTube channel. Trust me, you definitely don't want to miss them. With the release of Apex Legends, we not only put out an open call for talent, but also added two new streamers to the G2 army, Onscreen and Phantom Ace. Applications are still being considered, so be sure to fill in the form if you're interested, and also keep an eye out for who we pick up next. The CSGO team went to IEM Katowice and had a great run, reaching the new legend stage. This secured their challenger status for the next major in Berlin. We can't wait to see the team play from our home city. Not long after their strong run at WSOE, our Rocket League team played at DreamHack Leipzig in the most stacked Rocket League tournament to date. They made it all the way to the quarterfinals. Our Rainbow Six Siege team dropped the hammer and took one home with them at the Sixth Invitational in Montreal. Though not their first title, this was their first World Championship win under the G2 Esports ban winning them the championship hammer and the $800,000 first prize. To commemorate our 6 Invitational 2019 victory, we've released a limited edition pro jersey. Pre-orders will be shipping soon. Recently, we announced that G2 has secured a $17.3 million investment round for funding. With a list including leading tech and sports entrepreneurs, we're incredibly excited to bring even more strong partners into the G2 family. On Reddit, we had some fun doing a couple of AMAs, one with our CEO Carlos alongside the Rainbow Six team, as well as one with the CSGO team. You can see these and participate in more G2 Army conversations at the RG2 Esports subreddit. In IEM Katowice, the G2 Army showed up strong at our booth. Carlos enjoyed 1v1ing you all, and we hope you all enjoyed the festivities. Speaking of Carlos, he and Caps were named to Forbes 30 under 30 list for sports and games. Congrats to those two! For upcoming matches in March, watch out because there's plenty of G2 action every week. In the LEC, we're finishing out the spring split with matches against Fnatic and Misfits. The playoffs will come soon after, so keep an eye out for the playoff fixtures. The Rainbow Six Pro League resumes for G2 on March 15th, where we'll be facing Laystream, as well as Mouse and Penta in the following weeks. Our CSGO team will be on the road again in March, this time to Chongqing, China, for the WESG World Finals from March 11th to the 17th. Finally, the PUBG European League kicks off on March 21st, and G2 will be dropping into the battlefield with our new all-German roster. That's it for February in review. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more great content. Until next time.